On behalf of Bob Fenn, commander of American Legion Post 202 in Medina, and the nine Legionnaires we carefully selected to read your hundreds of essays that you submitted, we want to thank you for participating in this year's essay contest on what Veterans Day means to you. We looked over all of your essays and we were very impressed by your thoughts and your ways of expressing those thoughts. And quite frankly, some of those thoughts brought us to tears and we thank you for that. So thank you again. We hope that next year you will also take part in this important essay contest to take time to express your views and to thank the veterans without whom you will have no freedoms. So thank you. God bless you. We'll see you next year. My name is Eve London. I think veterans are important because they risk their lives for the country. That is a very big responsibility to know that you are helping your country and to die if you are in the fighting. My grandpa was a first lieutenant in the Air Force during Vietnam. I like being related to someone who is a veteran. My dad's half-sister, Bobby, is in Kuwait right now serving in the Army. My family and I send her letters with drawings. She sent us a postcard from Camp Buren. It's really hot there, so she's going out in 100 degree weather to help us. I have heard some stories about people who got hurt, then came back to their home. They have actually been hurt defending us. Also, I am sad for anyone who has died while serving because that is a big, big risk, and they did it to protect us. I really appreciate them. I think they are very brave to do it for their country. So to sum up what Veterans Day means to me, if you are a veteran or are in the Army and other branches, I appreciate all you do and that you're serving our country. Thank you so much. My name is Jack Smith, and I am in the sixth grade, and I'm going to read my Veterans Day essay. I would like to start off by saying that Veterans Day is a very important day for me. I'm lucky enough to have multiple veterans in my family. My dad was a Marine for four years. Both of my great grandfathers served in World War II and my grandfather was in, the Air, was in the Air Force. I would also like to say thank you to all the veterans who have served, are serving, and died serving our country. To me, Veterans Day is a day to thank all veterans for their service and appreciate all that they have done to keep America safe. I think that Veterans Day is more important than all of the other holidays for military because you get to celebrate past and present veterans, whereas on Memorial Day you only celebrate those who died. Veterans Day will always hold a special place in my heart because if we didn't have military, we would be a very, very unsafe country. These people that we celebrate on Veterans Day have or are risking their lives for our country. The least we as free Americans can do is thank these people for making our world a safe, peaceful, and easy environment to live in. Every time this holiday comes around, I begin to think about how much it means. Where I used to live, they would put up pictures of known veterans in town and they would change them to new veterans every year. To most people, this meant something. I even have a picture of my great, of my grandfather standing next to the picture of his dad. I would like to end off by saying thank you to all veterans for keeping us safe at all times. Hello, my name is Lincoln Marks. I am in sixth grade and I go here at AI Root. And so, yeah, I'll read my essay. By definition, a veteran is a person who has served in the military. But a veteran is much more than that. Veterans Day means different things to different people. To me, the thing that stands out most is the idea of sacrifice. Men and women unafraid to sacrifice everything to help protect this country. All gave some, some gave all. People join the military for many different reasons. Some join on their own, others were drafted. It is hard to imagine how scared some soldiers were, seeing as though some were still teenagers. Even though they came from different backgrounds, they all had the same goal, to protect the country and our freedoms. When a soldier leaves home, they know they are risking everything to defend and protect us, our country and our freedom. Without Veterans Day, many Americans would forget about the heroic sacrifices they make every day. These brave soldiers had to give up holidays like Christmas and Thanksgiving. They also had to give up family milestones like birthdays, 
weddings, graduations, and even funerals. We wouldn't be able to do half of the things that we do without these veterans. You know the saying, not all heroes wear capes? I think veterans are a perfect example of this. Some soldiers were lucky to come back home with only a few minor injuries, while others weren't so lucky and died in the line of duty. Soldiers have responsibilities, as do we. Our responsibility is to honor them every November 11th. Hi, I'm Evelyn Nigel, and I'm in seventh grade. To me, Veterans Day means honoring those who have dedicated their lives to fighting for our country. Admiring all their hard work, they have continued to put into keeping our country safe and free. They have risked their lives and left their loved ones to protect us and our loved ones. They work hard to be sure that our country will stand tall, and despite what happens, how many times it starts to fall apart, they help protect it and pull the country together. Veterans Day means thanking all those who have been dedicated to keeping us safe, being grateful for not just what they have done, but what they continue to do, active military or not, each and every day. They fought wars and trained hard to be able to defend our country in the first place, and after making it that far, they continued to serve our country. Veterans Day means protecting those who have and are currently serving. They have protected us and our country, so it is important we protect them. It's time to show respect and compassion towards our veterans, not just on Veterans Day, it should be every day. Veterans are smart, veterans are brave, veterans are strong, and most of all, veterans are selfless. Veterans work hard, they have put their lives on the line several times, knowing they may not come out of what they put themselves into, but they still do it, and for that we thank them. We respect them, and we care for them and all their hard work. So veterans, thank you, thank you for your service. My name is Corinne Preston, I'm in seventh grade, and I will be reading my Veterans Day essay. The flag sways in the breeze, hung proudly over our free land. Veterans Day is an important day because this is the day that everyone can go out and honor the veterans that served and risked their lives to save our country. This day is for honoring our veterans. They are such an important part of our country. They fought for our freedom. We have so much to thank them for. Each and every one of you veterans are all amazing in your own way. So on Veterans Day, we get together, cherishing the memories of being with one another, remembering the veterans that served and died in the military for us. What makes Veterans Day so special is that everyone around the country comes together to celebrate on this day to support and honor those who served. We are all dedicated to celebrate this day. We are all so amazed on how much they did for us. So we are all here on this day. We have set aside for those that we love, who we love, and we celebrate. If we could give you a definition of what a veteran is, picking from a wide range of what I could choose from, I would say they are heroes. To all the veterans out there and people who are currently serving for our country, thank you. Let me tell you, you will not go without recognition for your bravery and sacrifice you have made. My name is Mason Cooper. I am in Mr. Wymero's 7th grade history class, and this is my Veterans Day essay. Veterans Day was established in 1954 on November 11th as a way of honoring past soldiers both alive and dead. However, this doesn't capture how people really think about Veterans Day. Some view it as a day to spend with their loved ones who survived service. Some view it as a way to honor those whom they did not know who protected us. And some view it as a way to show their respect to fallen comrades. However, this essay is not about their thoughts, even though they are important to take into consideration whenever discussing this topic. This essay is about how I view Veterans Day. I personally don't have a veteran that I know in my family. However, I feel like that is a cause for higher celebration because of the way I view Veterans Day. I view it as a day to look at ourselves and think about the people we don't know who died to save us. I view Veterans Day as a day of self-betterment. Look at yourself and think. Thousands of people died so I can be here today. Let's make sure it was worth it. If you look at your life through the lens of let's do this better for them, you will always be striving to do and be better. That is what Veterans Day is, a day to honor those who died protecting you by making your life worthwhile. My name is Kira Joy and I'm in 8th grade. I'll be reading my Veterans Day essay. A veteran is someone who risks many things for our freedom and safety. That's why we honor them on November 11th. Past, present, dead, living, those who served at war and those who served during peace, they all deserve our thanks. Veterans Day is special to me because I'm thankful to have been lucky enough to be born into this country. 
who have a lot more than other countries have, and that's thanks to the veterans' hard work and dedication. My great-grandfather served in a World War II. I don't have any memory of him, but I have heard some stories of him, like how his army unit was one that invaded one of Hitler's houses. Veterans Day reminds me of the sacrifices he made and how important his role was in the war. Not only did he risk his life, but he had to serve over a year without seeing his family. There are many hardships that he faced, like sleeping outside in the winter and a mission where he marched 24 hours straight. Some situations were so bad that he declined talking about them. These were things that he would have to carry with him his whole life and it was all for a country's freedom. You don't need to have a relationship with a veteran to know that they put forth everything they had into defending our country. I didn't always take Veterans Day too seriously, but after learning more about them and my great-grandfather, I understand how much respect they deserve. I hope that other people understand too. So to all veterans, happy Veterans Day and thank you for your service. My name is Ryan Stevens and I'm in the eighth grade. To me, Veterans Day is a day intended to honor all and thank all who have served in war. It is a time to reflect on the sacrifices that veterans have made for the people. I believe it's our duty to pay respects to veterans for giving so much and expecting so little in return. Veterans put our needs before their own. They have left their families to fight in the name of freedom, democracy, and basic human rights. Veterans' courage comes from caring for others and their futures. By risking their lives, they have protected ours. Their services have provided us with security and hope. American veterans have fought for freedom of our country for centuries. We have veterans as an example to fight for what we believe in and what is important to us. On Veterans Day, it is our obligation to honor these brave heroes for making our country a better place to live. It is... It is easy for us to take our freedom for granted daily. On this day, we can honor our veterans by visiting a veteran's grave, attending an event, and hanging up the American flag. It is good to live another day in freedom. Veterans Day is a day to express the gratitude in our hearts for the veterans that have served for this country and to pay tribute to all who have risked and sacrificed their lives for our own. Uh, my name is Kendall Schmidley, and I'm in eighth grade. Why you start reading? <laughs> Okay, um, one of the most overlooked days of honor in the year is Veterans Day. Celebrated on the 11th day of the 11th, 11th month, we honor the soldiers who fought for our country and those who never came home. In our busy lives, we can sometimes take, take for granted the sacrifices other people have made for us. Their sacrifices, both mentally and physically, may have been hard, but they still made them to fight for our liberty and freedom. Veterans Day, to me, is a reflection of the people who fought and died for our country. I am thankful for their blind courage and their selflessness that we that was needed to protect me and my family's rights. As one goes through life, the pain and terror you see on TV, you never think anything like that could impact your family. Until one day, your parents get a phone call telling them that your cousin was killed in a battle. My cousin, Captain Andrew Myers, who graduated 12th of his class at West Point Military Academy, died on November 3rd, 2016 in Kunzu, Afghanistan, leading a group of 12 on a special operations mission after saving one man's life. He received, he received a silver star for valor from his battle in the global war on terror. On Memorial Day 2017, at Arlington National Cemetery, the President of the United States spoke specifically about Andrew's struggles, sacrifice, and selfishness in going into that ordeal. I never got the honor of beating Andrew, but I remember at his funeral being very confused and sad. I could see the people around me being very proud of the leader that he became and how he fought for people he never knew. But sadly, I knew they would never get to see their loved one again. In sum, Veterans Day to me, Veterans Day means different things to different people, but to me, it hits close to home. I am appreciative of those who have served and the sacrifices they have made for us, for other people. These people helped in disasters we can't even begin to fathom, such as helping in a, pan a pandemic, helping the poor, and keeping us all safe and free. My cousin, Andrew, helped a lot of people in his times of service. To me, to his family, and to his friends, he died a hero. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ron Ross, and I am a school board member for the Dinah City School District. And I'm also a veteran, I'm a veteran of the United States Army. I served in the early 1980s. And I just want to take this time to thank all of our middle school kids at Claggett and Root Middle School for taking part in the Veterans Day essay contest. You all had to answer a question, what does Veterans Day mean to me? And we received over, or we, we received almost 300 submissions and it is so appreciative of 
um, the time that you took to write these essays and submit them to us so that we can read them. I also want to thank um, American Legion Post 202 Commander Dave Taylor and all the American Legion members who, is, who, is, who I and myself as a member, we read all of the essays. And I also want to thank our Director of Communications, Amy Busby, for doing a lot of the legwork on this essay contest. And this is the second year of the contest, and I appreciate Amy's work in this endeavor and Superintendent Aaron Sable for allowing the essay contest to continue. And I hope it does continue because it does two things, the, the, having this Veterans Day essay contest. The contest brings together the veterans community and it allows our local veterans to interact with children, and which they do in numerous ways in our community. And it also allows the kids to uh, get involved with our veterans. And in this way, the essay contest writes something where they have to do a little bit of research on what Veterans Day means to them. Some kids do not know what a veteran is. Um, some kids don't know the difference between uh, Veterans Day and Memorial Day. And it's not their fault. They just don't have a veteran presence in their household. And so this is a way that the kids, that we can educate the kids on what Veterans Day is all about, why it's celebrated, and what it has, what our veterans have meant throughout the history of our country and how we want to live. So I just want to thank you all the kids for participating and I wish you all a very happy Veterans Day.